coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. The Buffaloes and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. First and 10, ball on the 47. it himself and picked up a good looking first down great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback he gets rid of this one even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers so it's second and ten. Ball on the 42. Fires it out. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. catch there before he stepped out of bounds when they broke the huddle i'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver and he still brought it in to give this team a big lift it's first and ten ball on the 25 looks left fighting his tailback and he's immediately tackled so it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. And this play is number eight on the drive. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. You know, Brad, that's the second, third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. So he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 66-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. Gets to about the 34-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field.
makes it out to about the 46. From their own 46-yard line, first down. the 43-yard line. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? And he throws it away. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Change of quarterback, Kirby. You've got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've got to be ready to trust this guy. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick pass. That's a great tackle at the 42-yard line. That brings up second and one. Side doesn't get much. Good tackle. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's at midfield, and he tackles him hard at the 46. Heading for the corner. Gets out to around the 38. That's a team of eight on the play. That makes it It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gets it, he's in space, and he's taken down at the 29. Number 24 makes the tackle at the 29 yard line. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. The Buffaloes with a touchdown lead. In here in quarter number two. They're going to pitch it. He's at the 20. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 15 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15. They'll 
That'll bring him down around the 15-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. And they make the stop around the seven yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. around the four-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. And off up the middle, and he's stuck. We've got second and goal. Ball on the five. He's tackling at the three. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That's a game of two on the ball. That makes it third and goal. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Pays off. Touchdown. And the halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. There's a strike complete. Tackle at the 34. Second down and five. Ball on their own 34. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made the 39-yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Five wide. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Tackle at the 19-yard line. The Buffaloes are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Good tackle there in space. About four yards on that play. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Fire 
fires quickly. He's got the tailback on another catch. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's hit and taken down. That brings him second and five. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 44. Over the middle to his tailback. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. The Buffaloes use their second timeout. Offense lines up in a five-wide set and a defense anticipating pass here. Got it and brought down immediately. Throws complete and he's got room to work. He steps up around the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 43-yard line, first down. And he hits him hard at the 50. That'll make it second and long. Going deep. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. He hauls it in. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. Under heavy pressure. They'll bring him down at the five. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. And they're in. Touchdown. So a 12-play, 81-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. run up the middle we played a half of football the Buffaloes lead 21 nothing hi everybody glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnover. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud and they got three receivers to my side and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So 
you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Buffaloes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. He really got a hold of that one. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. Taking the field again now is the offense. And I got to tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. That's a live ball. Looks like the offense has it. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. He's under pressure. Throws and a man wide open, and he missed him. They come out in a five-wide set. He sails it long. Intercepted. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. Brad, this week, these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. First and 10, ball on the 42. Side. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Caught a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Gets out to around the 45. First and ten. Ball on the 45. Gets out to around the 32. Give to the tailback. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 15. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff.
from the 15 yard line. First down. The 10 gains his way to the seven yard line. some tough running right there. If you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. He makes the PAT. A nice six-play, 58-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Caught oh, out in the open, and he's tackled around the 32-yard line. Number six makes the tackle at the 32-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 32. He gets to about the 41-yard line. They go with a run. Runs outside for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. Ball on their own 46. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. That's a great tackle at the 41. Game of 13 yards. First down. and they wrestle him down behind the line. That brings up second and 13. From the 44-yard line, second down. Runs it right, nice pickup. That makes it 37. This is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 21-7, Buffalo. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. First and ten. I got number 18. I got you 18. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Oh, 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 oh. Tackle for a loss. From the 27 yard line. Second down.
Throws a strike over the middle. He's tackled around the 16-yard line. Third down again. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. This is the 11th play of this drive. He's on the run. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. It's first down. Knocking on the door here is first and goal inside the five. Defense stacked in tight here. Tackle at the two. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. This is the 13th play of this drive. getting to pay dirt three times. Until they can figure out how to slow him down, it's going to be very tough for them to get back into this game. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. We're about set to start things up again. Under pressure. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Just throws this one away. quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. Five wide. Gets it out quickly. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Just under three to go in regulation. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Hit on the throw. He caught it. And down he goes at the 43. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. Deep pass to the end zone. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. taken down the 37-yard line. 
Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. About four yards in the counter to the halfback. The defense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 33. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Got the corner. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. He's taken down right around the four-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. He's in for the touchdown. the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives. And they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. That'll make it second and four. The spike will stop the clock. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Just under two to go in the game. Tackle at the 38-yard line. The Buffaloes have been about as impressive as you can be in a football game. Wow, this is as good as it gets. The defense is playing great. And the offense has done their job. We've got a blowout here. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a game of six on the play. That brings us second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 44. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee. The Buffaloes coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.